the truth is out there. Or is it? So in this episode, we're looking at fake news. So there was an interesting discussion on Discord and Oliver posted this. This is interesting and also very difficult. And then he posted the link. And then a few people started posting back their results of this survey. And I thought, okay, I'll give that a go. What is this all about? So this is a test to see whether you can spot a fake photo or a computer generated photo. And if you take a look at some of the images, it really shows you how far 3D modeling has come and 3D artistry. And also the tremendous skill of some of these artists to somehow formulate these pictures and images that are almost indistinguishable from the real thing. I'll put a link to the survey in the description. So do have a go at that. See if you can beat my score. I got 79% or something. So basically I was 20% wrong in this test and I've been doing this now for quite a while I would say. So do have a go, see if you can beat my score, post your results in the description or get along to the Discord server and post your results there and we can have a bit of a chat. So what are the telltale signs that an image isn't real and how can we improve on our renders to make them seem more real? Well the ones I found the easiest were any that had trees or bushes or leaves, anything that's organic and repeated lots of times that's quite easy to spot because you can see the repetition. So when we're modeling, you've got to try and make sure that you steer clear of that repetition somehow. So if you're making an object that's repeated, like grass or something similar, make sure you create a few of them, so a few different sizes of grass, different shapes, and then when you repeat them, it won't be so obvious. The other things I looked out for were really sharp edges, so make sure you're beveling all your edges. There was one image that had rocks in and had very sharp angular edges, and that was very easy to spot. Sometimes there were images that were kind of overly real, so they were so sort of dirty and grungy and dingy. I see this quite a lot in video where they're saying get the film look and it's really sort of over contrasty and they've lost that flatness. And sometimes people push that composition too far and it kind of loses realism. But sometimes people when they're adding color and vibrancy to an image they just overstep the mark and it looks a bit unnatural. Of course there's some images in there that are there to catch you out. So there's some images of people and they're quite hard because they're actually of models and they've been airbrushed. So they kind of look a little bit unreal and doll-like anyway. So if you've got a 3D model and you're comparing it to that, that's quite hard to distinguish the two. And that's my excuse for losing 20% of the mark. So definitely have a go at that survey. It's really good fun. The other interesting thing about this whole thing of faking it is that there's a moral implication to making things that are fake real. So I've got a recent video here of Obama sort of faking it and saying silly things. But this technology was out in 2017 and it is really quite tough to see that that's actually a fake Obama. You can see just in the lips that they're slightly blurred and it's not quite real, but it's getting harder and harder and we're actually artists so we're sort of trained to notice these things in a sense. But what about the masses of people out there who aren't and they're seeing this and they're believing it? So an interesting moral question there. Do you think there should be laws against creating too real a 3D? Do you think it won't have any influence at all or do you think this is a major impact to our society that we have to watch out for. I'll tell you what isn't fake news, the new competition is out, it's heroes and villains. So we've got our new post on the wall there, the wall of fame. Thank you to Mattis Mole, the competition winner with his lovely piece there. So the new competition is heroes and villains, you can do characters or scenarios, it doesn't have to be both a hero and villain, it can be a hero or a villain, whatever you think as long as it's 3D. Also now 2.8 beta is released and it's getting a bit more stable. I will start to produce more tutorials on that, particularly in the painting side because I think they've done amazing things there. Really excited about those, so watch out for that. So do check out those tutorials, like, subscribe, click that little bell so you get alerts. But actually just comment and tell me how you're getting on. I'm much more interested than that. And get across to the Discord server, join in the competition, join in the chat, post your results of the survey. Look forward to seeing you there and chatting with you there. Thanks for watching.